In this installment, we're going to be going over the NBA playoff bet slate for Friday, May 3rd. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef D, and I'm here to bring you the winning ingredients for our May 3rd NBA playoff bet slate we got going on. But before I do dive into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget about the Instagram and Twitter at MetsNitchJetsD. Also, we have the TikTok at Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about that Patreon right now at the home page of the youtube channel currently at 4.84 thousand subscribers our goal is 10k all right so we're on well on our way with you guys love and support that you're showing each and every single day keep that up if you're already subscribed continue to like and comment that helps the youtube algorithm and whoever is not subscribed right now you're missing out go ahead and click that subscribe button right now and join the community that we're building on youtube and on patreon okay very very dope space that we're uh building right now right if you want the future bets uh you sign up for that patreon link provided down below i have my nba finals uh posted all right who i think is going to be in nba finals right now if you want to know that link is provided down below before we get into the cleveland and orlando matchup speak about yesterday we went oh and two for yesterday uh, that's fine. It was a hard fought series from the Philadelphia 76ers, uh, but they definitely fell short at the end. Uh, and the Knicks, the Knicks, and Brunson, they prevailed yet again. All right, yet again there. Um, and in the first game, uh, Bucks. I was going to take those points either way with a veteran team there. Uh, Indiana, Indiana Pacers showed up, didn't get the cover. That's okay. We move on to the next day. We're looking for a sweep in this one here. So. Cleveland Cavaliers, Orlando Magic, absolutely phenomenal series that we've been getting um, in this one, but mainly controlled by home court, okay? So looking at the money line right now, this series is Cavaliers up 3-2, game six in Orlando. Money line is minus 165 for Magic with the comeback of the Cleveland Cavaliers at a plus 140. Point spread at a three and a half and the total at 200.5, all right? Public bet percentage, 82% of the bets on Orlando, 59% of the money on Orlando to back that up. Uh, point spread, 63% of the bets, 68% of the money. All right. And for the total, 88% of the bets, 91% of the money on the over 200 and a half. All right. So we do have some injury news with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Jared Allen did not play in game number five. They happened to win that game. Um, Jan Jar Jared Allen is currently questionable right now with a rib contusion. So we got to stay to news. That's why I provide that link down below for Rotowire. So you guys stay up to date with the, the lineups. OK, so uh, just waiting on news about Jared Allen. And that's the only injury news for the Cleveland Cavaliers. But for the Orlando Magic, Gary Harris left the previous game and he's currently questionable in this game for game six. If he does not play, that's going to be more minutes for Cole Anthony and Markel Fultz. OK, those are the definitely serviceable backup point guards. Technically, Cole Anthony should be a starting point guard. I, I like him a lot uh, after modeling his game after his father right there. Um, but Gary Harris, veteran, three point shooter, three and D type of guy. But. Uh, they definitely have serviceable backups um, if he does miss this game. All right. Now, what we saw in that previous game between the Cavaliers and Magic, we saw an emergence of Bonchiro. So they Magic really almost got that win against the Cleveland Cavaliers. They did not back down from the challenge. One of these team, teams are trying to take home quarter advantage away. Uh, and that's really the question in this matchup here. Um, despite the fact uh, Cavaliers were without Jared Allen, they went more with a smaller lineup, started Isaac Kakaro, who's more of a 3 and D type of guy as well. Um, but they did miss their shot blocker. OK, um, and we saw more points and then in any other game during this series as well with Jared Allen out. 
Uh, so it's, it's it'd be interesting to see if he's out again. Does that total tend to go over? So where I'm going to be leaning here with since the totals at 200, I think it's just getting more competitive here between these two teams, between the matching Cavaliers. They know what to expect from each other. I expect a back and forth. What we've been seeing, the reason why the total has been going under is because it's been blowouts. All right. Cavaliers went by 14. Cavaliers went by 10. Cavaliers went by what's it? 18, 28, what is it? Uh, Orlando blew them out almost by 30. Um, Orlando again blow out. And then you finally got a close game between Orlando and Cleveland and it went over the total. So that's why I expect in this one. Um, I think the easiest, my most confident play is going to be the over 200 and a half. I'll post that there. The winner in this one is a flip of the coin just a little bit. Do the, 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 the Cavaliers finally get over the home? Hump and get this win in Orlando and does Orlando finally falter uh, that's really the question here I'm going to lean with the magic on the money line I think this this series can go seven and get, take it to Sunday so that's what I'm going to lean towards but my top play here love the over 200.5 and then I'm going to lean to the magic on the money line as well if you want to keep it comfortable and safe Take the points at the plus three and a half. If you don't fully believe in the magic, but you think this game is going to be a close, that three and a half is there to save you as well. But top play over 200. Last but not least, on the two game slate, we have the LA Clippers here going to be against the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, this series is Mavericks with a 3 2 lead here. Mavericks have the opportunity to end it right now in game six at home at the American Airlines Center. Uh, looking at the odds right here, Dallas Mavericks on the money line at a minus 350. Uh, with the comeback of the money of, of the LA Clippers at a plus 260. Uh, point spread at a 7.5 on both sides and the total at 207 and a half all right for the public bet percentage here 92 percent of the bets on dallas 83 percent of the money on dallas uh point spread 52 percent of the bets on the clippers to cover 50 percent of the money on the clippers to cover very split down the middle there but then heavily on the total here 95 percent of the bets 96 percent of the money on the over 207 and a half all right for the injury report here for the la clippers Terrence Mann is questionable with a leg injury. So with a leg contusion, we're going to see if he's going to be able to play. That's going to, if he doesn't, it's going to be more Amir Coffee. Terrence Mann has been very good, taking an assignment defensively um, and really, really playing well on both sides of the ball. So that's kind of a big letdown if he does not play. Uh, and then obviously Kawhi Leonard is out yet again. Okay. Uh, for the Dallas Mavericks, no notable injuries. We already knew about Tim Hardaway Jr. He's out for the rest of the playoffs. Uh, so what we saw in game number five, game number five was domination of the Dallas Mavericks. The previous game, game four, we saw the Mavericks come back down by 30. Some, for some reason, this team here in the Mavericks might have very minor it just it just happens in one quarter but they have a lapse in offense for a whole entire quarter and that's the game all right so game four down they came back from down 30 took the lead but still lost this one they made sure they made a mark on here uh in dallas took full control at halftime and after um 30 point lead here by the dallas mavericks um and so it's it's just a mismatch uh, of talent it, since Kawhi Leonard is out, obviously, and you can't have inconsistent play from James Harden and Paul George, which sometimes is expected from these two guys. They like to know show, especially James Harden. We already seen it with him in Philadelphia, where he does not show up in certain situations, and they can't have that right now at all. All right, because you got Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic, two dynamic scores, two dynamic passers. Um, and then they have an outstanding defense as well. All right. These, these Dallas Mavericks, since making that trade, they have been playing very, very well. All right. So I think it's over in this one. I think it's too much talent, too much pressure, especially to be asked in Dallas here at, at a home game here. Give me Luca and Kyrie uh, money line. Love it there. Obviously, you can use that as a parlay piece. Point spread. I, I like the Mavericks to cover that seven and a half. And I'm going to be going towards the over 207 and a half. These teams are going to be playing more freely uh, because it's going to be desperation mode for the Clippers. If the Dallas Mavericks get up, Clippers are going to have to keep scoring. They're going to do 
anything in their pot in their in their power to keep up pace with the Dallas Mavericks. And then these these uh, closeout games tend to go over. We saw it in the Knicks and Philly game, uh, back and forth environment. Uh, Knicks pull away, game went over. Same scenario here. Dallas Mavericks. Um, I think the this over is going to hit that 207 and a half. And we saw it in the last past two games as well. So that, that's what we uh, like to see. So Dallas Mavericks cover over 207 and a half and Dallas Mavericks money line across the board here. So those are going to be the plays for Friday. Let me know in that comment section down below. What do you think about these two particular games? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you want to fade me? Do you want to fade me? All right. You wasn't. You guys wasn't complaining when I was you know, a whole week in a row getting everything right. But that's okay. That's okay. All right. We're going to look for a sweep today. Um, let me know in that comment section down below. And also, if you want the premium picks, if you want the futures, NBA future bet, uh, go to that link provided down below. Peace out.